Good afternoon, everybody. Let's get rid of that for a sec. As always, that's why people tune in to watch me move a panchette air freshener from my car. Hope everyone's good. Um, I've been umming and ahhing, driving to my location that I usually record, thinking about what to talk about. Um, and I got a DM from my friend Fred. Um, who is a proficient guitarist, I would say. Not actually seen him perform too much, but I know that he loves it. Um, and I want to start by saying apprehension and anxiety are usually formulated by the thought of failure and the thought of not actually being able to show up to the place to do the thing, regardless of what it is. Obviously, this is, you know, broadly speaking... I also need to stop saying fucking obviously constantly. It's really annoying me. Um, so, yeah, like if you book plans with people or you want to go out for a drink with someone or you want to go to a band practice or you want to start a podcast or anything like that, one of the first things that enters your brain, I've found from my perspective, this is all just my thoughts and my feelings and my opinions, but the one of the first things you <clears throat> get introduced to is you can't do this, give up. That voice is always going to be there, and that voice can actually get quieter as life goes on if you learn the correct management tools. And I don't personally know anyone that hasn't got that little voice. And there are a lot of very, very successful people out there. One thing that I do try to sort of humble myself with now and then is the thought that sounds like a negative thought, because I'm quite a cynical little bitch, one of the thoughts that I try to combat that little voice with is no one owes you anything. You are entitled to absolutely nothing in this life. But also, on the flip side of that, no one else owes you anything. And like life isn't a transactional... It shouldn't be a transactional thing where if you do something for me, I'll do something for you. And... If you come on my podcast, then blah, blah, blah. Like, just try and be grateful for everything that hits your inbox and everything that kind of floats past your life. And you don't have to interact with everything, you know? It's one of the things that we really struggle with nowadays is everyone has to have an opinion on literally everything constantly. Um, but yeah, there should be a new jam spot opening soon in Weymouth slash Dorchester. So if that actually gets off the ground, then I'll be sure to plug it on here. Jam nights are cool. Um, they also seem to be a bit of a hot spot for that voice that I'm talking about. Because um, there's going to be people there that are quite skilled at guitar, drums, bass, vocals, keyboard, um, didgeridoo. Um, there's going to be varying degrees of skill, varying degrees of proficiency. But the reason they're at a jam night, well, from a nefarious perspective, there's <laughs> sometimes there's a people, a couple of people there that have just like left college and they think they're the dog's bollocks. And they think that everyone needs to listen to their new sick lick because they're insane. Um, jam nights aren't about that. They're about people with a middling degree of experience and a middling degree of skill meeting other people and potentially joining bands and projects off the back of that jamming. Um, so yeah, don't be that guy. Don't show up and start fucking sweet picking for 60 seconds. Um, but then again, if you do, I've got no opinion on it really, because everything is how you react to everything else, really. Um, what else was I going to talk about? I genuinely can't remember. So that's always fun. Um, yeah, just... Realise as well that a lot of things in your life, whether or not you like to admit this or not, a lot of the decisions that you've made and a lot of the promise of surf servitude and potential like, oh, well, I've got to go and do this now, haven't I? Oh, my mum wants me to go and do this and oh, I said I'd do this and now I've got to go to the shop and now I've got to go fishing a lot of those things right 
if you are living by yourself, you are self-funded, and you are able to make your own decisions, a lot of those things that you actually hate that are a part of your schedule, they are choices. They are choices that at some point in your life, either someone else has made for you or you've made for you, change them. And I get that that's a broadly speaking term, like if your nan's disabled or your dad's on palliative care and you've got to visit him, that's not really a choice. That's, you know, there's obviously exceptions to every rule. But the amount of people I've met, man, that are just like, oh, I've got to go do this and I hate doing this. Oh, I've got to go visit this thing and I've got to go sort my brother's car out because I said I would. Yeah, you said you would. You said you would, right? So now you got to go do it because you said you would. And I'm not advocating for people being fucking sloths and lazy little shits. But... At some point in your life, you've either been goaded into doing something or you've decided that you're going to do it off your own back. And by the way, if you decide to do things off your own back that involve other people and it's you seeking validation, that's on you. Never, ever do anything to get praise because that can really fuck you up and backfire big time. Um, so, yeah, I just, I'm just i feeling a bit self-reflective today. I'm feeling a little bit like... um. A bit ethereal, sort of. As ethereal as a 34-year-old white man sat in a car can feel. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm feeling... I'm feeling quite good. Um, my frequency seems to be quite good. Um, haven't had any road rage in the last couple of weeks. And um, yeah, life's alright. Life's easy. This is what Blue Van Man says all the time. Life's easy. It's people that make it complicated. And a lot of people that you meet in life are fucking idiots. Because they make bad choices. Um, I'm also not trying to preach to people. I'm not trying to weaponize my YouTube channel to become like, Oh, well, you should have done this. Because those people could fuck off into the sun. Um, but yeah, just take a step back. Breathe a bit. Assess the situation. Ask yourself, how how did I start going to see my aunt and driving 250 miles every other Thursday? How did that enter my sphere and how can I get out of it if I don't genuinely enjoy it? Um, but yeah, there we go. That's life. Um, we only get a finite amount of time on this planet, so it's important that we do as much as possible to try and enjoy it. Um, there's a lot of people living miserably and a lot of people that seem to be addicted to that thought and that feeling of suffering and uh yeah people don't like it when you're straight with them but people don't like the truth sometimes no but yeah right well, that's an eight and a half minute video it's included blue van man which always does well in the algorithm um yeah bye